We love seeing our national parks, but big crowds are something we try to avoid. Mr. Martini and I enjoy going to areas that are off the beaten path. In this video, we are going to take you to some less crowded places we enjoy when visiting the west side of Yellowstone National Park. We know that there are many sites on the west side we have left out. So let us know in the comments some of your favorite off the beaten path sites in Yellowstone. One area we like is the Firehole River area. We like to start on the Firehole Lake Drive. You can find this one-way road off Highway 287, which is also known as the Grand Loop Road. This area is just north of the Old Fateful area. On this loop road, you will find geysers, hot springs, and pools that are easily seen from the car. But we recommend you get out of the car to take a closer look. If you have someone with limited mobility, this would be a great loop to gaze upon the geologic wonders without having to exit the car. So, it's just amazing. On these off roads, you can really see, you know, a lot of features that that there aren't crowded. And you can actually realize that you're driving around a caldera. <laughs> Talk about a jacuzzi with a view. <laughs> it's got a beautiful view of the mountains. That's about how hot I like the water too. <laughs> Coming on the Fountain Drive is nice because there's just hardly any tourists here. I mean, one just ran by me. Um, but it's nice. You don't have to beat the crowds and, um, and you get to see this old hotel foundation and kind of some history. So it's kind of cool. Devil's Cavern or something. Clamshell. <laughs> <laughs> I would have named it like the Devil's Cavern. I don't know what it's named. They don't have a sign. When exiting the Firehole Lake Road, you will see the parking lot for the Fountain Painted Pot Trail. Since this trail is off the main road, it can get very crowded, but it is worth trying to get a parking place. Like anything in Yellowstone, going early in the morning is your best bet for low crowd volume. This is the Young Hopeful Geyser. You're Beautiful. expecting big things from it someday. <laughs> <laughs> I 
right now it's just a little squirt. Just a little squirt. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I have captured some great video and pictures of bison and elk in this area. The background of your pictures will have a dramatic geologic backdrop. Bison calves tend to be born from late March through May and are orange-red in color, earning them the nickname Red Dogs. So this is my favorite time to visit. Bison and elk can act like they don't care that you are around. But don't be fooled, they are very aggressive. I can't tell you how many times I have seen tourists approach these majestic animals. Keep your distance and respect their space. You and your children have no business approaching these wild animals. They can turn on a dime and charge you. This includes moose, bison, elk, and of course, grizzly bear, and any other wild animal you come across. I don't think there's any law against taking buffalo purple. Yeah, there is. You can't remove anything. It looks like a pile of poop. It's a weird feeling. That's what rolls off their, uh, when they're out there rolling around in the sand. Yeah. So, this is buffalo scat. For those of you that don't know scat, that's poopy. You can find their hooves, you can find their tracks all over the place. Um, there's obviously was a herd here. But what's amazing is that... Steaming pile. <laughs> Look, <right here>. Steaming <laughs> vent. Steaming. All these holes are. They're, they're steaming vent next to a steaming pile. Another place where we like to escape the crowd is on the other side of Old Fateful Geyser. It is a short hike up a hill to the observation point on Geyser Hill. From there, you get a stunning view of the Old Fateful Geyser and Inn. The short uphill hike is about 1.1 miles round trip. On the way up, there are boardwalk trails that weave their way between a handful of geysers, hot springs, and pools.
the that's the inn that's the old faithful inn and then this is our lodge so you can see we're very close and then this is the snow lodge is over here um, so everything's just kind of in a circle around old faithful and then there's many other geysers um, you can see them off in the distance so they're all walking distance there's the lodge we're staying in the old faithful lodge Old Faithful and then there's many other geysers that you can walk out to and then this is this is Old Faithful Inn. You how big Old Faithful really erupts. Look at the size of these buildings and it's erupting right now. Um, it's pretty high. Getting warmer already. Just take a bunch of this. It's going crazy quick. So we're on our way to the Fountain Hotel where it used to stand um, and so we're going north um, towards Madison. Um, the area is very close to where Maddie Culver is buried, uh, just south of it. There's a lot of geologic features to see on the way and buffaloes. Um, you can find some hot springs on the way and some geysers. Yeah, see, we're thinking this line right here is the old building, was the foundation. Um, we're just not sure, and if you go this way, I mean, it continues along here. So, the, yeah, this is talking about the buffalo. So, it definitely looks like there was something here. Um, and if this is the same as the lake hotel, it would have been a big hotel and we're it's facing the right direction. And we're just right off the road. We trash out behind the hotel and feed the grizzlies. And that would have been that area back in there to entertain the guests. area in Yellowstone National Park and we're here to visit the pioneer woman Maddie Culver. So we've been spending the morning with Maddie um, checking out the area. Um, it is her story is very heart moving. Um, you know this is just absolutely beautiful out here isn't it? Yes it is. Real key to, to doing it is getting out of way where everyone's not. As you can see behind us, there's no people. <laughs> Get away from all the buses. Yeah. So there are people here. It's just, it's a lot less that are here. Uh, so pack a picnic um, and come out here and visit Maddie and pay your respects. Behind me is the Firehole River. And this is the area 
that Maddie and her husband lived. The hotel was just down the way here, the Firehole um, Hotel, and then the Fountain Hotel was this way. Absolutely beautiful area and I could see why they loved it. So, just to my left is the bathrooms. We are going west um, towards one of the creeks. Um, and the parking lot is behind me, especially the entrance is right behind me. So, she's right in the first part of the entrance. And if you just walk towards the creek, she's very close. There's a big meadow out over that way and a road and here she is. Maddie Culver. So they have these big posts up to keep the buffalo from trampling all over her grave and as you can see many people have come to visit her and pay their respects, including the buffalo. <laughs> and she sits out here by the river. All by herself, separated from Ellery, who is buried in California in a soldier's Graveyard in Los Angeles. He was part of GAR, and what GAR is are it's kind of the precursor. It was a precursor to the WFW Veterans of Foreign Wars. But back um, in the Civil War days, we hadn't fought a foreign war. Everything had been fought on our ground, and so these were the gentlemen who fought in the Civil War. And it eventually came the WFW. So um, he's in a soldier's cemetery in Los Angeles. So here's Maddie. So Maddie's grave is adorned with a rose on the top. And it reads Maddie S. Period. The S stands for Shipley. That was her maiden name. Culver was her married name. And it says, Wife of E.C. Culver died March 2nd, 1889, age 30 years. She was actually 32 when she died. She was not 30, and so a lot of people make that mistake. At the time of her death, her daughter was still a toddler, um, barely two years old. Well, let's do it. So, if you walk up this way from her grave, you will see the creek. She literally sits on the creek. This is Maddie's grave, and there is eggs inside there. So I'm standing where I think the hotel might have been, um, and there's Maddie's grave looking towards one of the rivers. Wallows under the bridge here at the Nez Pierce. See them? They go into, into their mud nests that are under the bridge. They like going under eaves. See, they all they go and their babies are in there. They go and get food. They come back and they feed their babies. Well, there's Maddie, and we're gonna walk down to the river's edge and check it out.
Might be where the China is. People down here swimming. There's a swan over here. It's a beautiful place to go fishing. There's fishermen all up and down this river. Buffalo off in the distance. See all the fishermen over there? Well, it was supposed to be by, I mean, if I was to build a hotel, I wouldn't put it next to the river. I'd put it up over there because of flood. I would too. The best spot was where we were standing. Around the corner, there's always something of beauty to see. Turn into 1610 AM. We got our own station. <laughs>